Hi everyone. Um, I thought I better get on the bandwagon and before 2012 is over and tell you my uh, favorites for 2011. I was tagged by two people and I like to thank them both for tagging me. And so I'm just going to go ahead and get started right here. Just kind of I made a random list and I'm just going to get started. Uh, these are in no particular order. One of the my most favorite things and inspiring things and helpful tools would be my camera. I either use my iPhone or I use my new video camera. It's an HD, I think it's Insignia. That's the one I'm using right now. I really like this camera. It took me a while to figure out how to work it, but once I did, I love it. Uh, the next thing that I really, really love is um, these tools. I just laid them out here on my table. I, it took me a while to find a circle cutter that I really, really like. And I really like this EK Success one. And it has this thing that you um, put on the sides here and then run it around. And the measurements, it's very easy to use. Whatever size circle you want, you stick it in the little slot for the measurement. And I found this really easy to use. I love this paper. It's like wax paper in its uh, disposable pallets. You can see the hole there. Um, my husband's an artist, as, as I mentioned before, and I go with him a lot of times to his art supply stores. And these are great for, especially when you're doing art journaling, just to mix your paints on or your mediums, your gel mediums, and then you just tear it off and throw it away. Love, love, love the Martha Stewart scoreboard. I lost my... Um, tool, but I went and just bought a Martha Stewart tool and stuck it in there. <clears throat> I've got a lot of bone folders, but um, I just wanted one that just stays in here. And I have a feeling I just threw the other one away by mistake, so I went and purchased another one. I love my cutting board, my Fiskars cutting board I got through Stampin' Up. It's right here, and it is sure been used a lot. You can see the paint and the scruff marks and everything, but this has lasted forever, and I have no need for a new one. We've got a guillotine cutter upstairs, so if I do need to um, cut a large amount of certain measurement, I'll go up there and do that, but I love this. Love my ATG gun. That's my second one there, that pink one. And I have another red one in my extra tools. If anybody comes over to crop with me, then I have two of them. And of course, the big bite. I love anything vintage. Absolutely find that so inspiring. Uh, and I love uh, thrifting and going to places to find thrift stores. Just bought this the other day, this tool. Um, let me just... Uh, zoom out a little bit. I haven't done anything to it yet. You can see the little shafts on the bottom, but I'm going to put some really nice uh, paper on the bottom, and that's what I've got in this um, muffin tin. This was a Somerset uh, magazine idea to keep things in it that you're working on, so I'm going to cover up that uh, toolbox, and I chose some flowers that I might want to use to adorn the paper. And then I read this really cool article in another Somerset, Somerset Life, the most recent one, and this lady was talking about choosing your, or no, owning your word. I believe in choosing a word for the new year, and if anybody has uh, watched my journaling, uh, junk journaling videos. I, I talked about that in the last one, about choosing your word to f focus on. She was talking about owning your word. Like, if people always say, oh, I find you this and I find you that, and you're always like, but am I really? So whatever word that you feel that you hear, like when I do those junk journal uh, videos, I hear, thank you for your inspiration. I'm sure everyone on YouTube hears that. Thanks for your inspiration. Thanks for inspiring me. So I'm going to put the words inspire on this box. That's what these chipboard letters are there for when I get finished. So I'm owning that word and try to be more inspiring to people. Uh, the other vintage thing, of course, I love that vintage window with all the little mini cards on it. Um... I love Ikea in any kind of storage. This is an old, old Ikea shelf, and we refinished it and made it that rustic kind of purple. And I've got all kinds of stuff in here, I tell ya. Because I don't have a big, big scrap room, 
I tend to put everything in shells. And uh, now here's another vintage thing that I love. This this was an old mirror I found, and then I painted it into a chalkboard. And uh, I love that. But I'm just going to go and show you the other IKEA storage that I love. This big, big one. The doors are open. So you can see, this is where the majority of my supplies store. And the beauty of this is if somebody, just moving a stool, if someone uh, comes over because the glass is frosted, you can't even tell. There's a whole craft room behind that huge shelf. So I'm really a fan of IKEA. I love any kinds of art journaling magazines, and I love, like I mentioned, Somerset Life. This is the latest one here. Love this one. Look at those cool spools with homemade fabric or home dyed fabric with words stamped on it. I can't wait to try that. And um, I keep all of my books like that down here, all the art journaling inspirational magazines and I keep my card making magazines in my other room. I'm not sure if you can hear that but I absolutely love the sound of a ticking clock. When it's really quiet no one's home I just find that the most soothing inspirational sound. I love it. Some people hate it. I happen to be one of those people that absolutely loves it. Another thing, some other vintage things that, oh, I just bought this at our local thrift store. It was like, I think they're called trivets. And so I just put two green plates on it with doilies and it gave me more storage for, this is a vintage sewing machine and my real sewing machine is in here. So it's easy instead of removing all these little things when I'm sewing, I just have to lift that whole thing off. So that's kind of cool. Another thing I love, I love ephemera, but what I love is the ephemera case that I've made for my grandchildren. It's in this old vintage suitcase here, and it's just full of art supplies. And I believe, like Van Gogh says, um, I don't know the exact words, but you're not truly an artist until you create like a child. And I find I get so inspired by them. I just, they open that up, they just go to town, there's no rules or any laws of art they're supposed to follow. And it's amazing how inspiring and how inspired you can get by children. Um, I love my flowers. Oh, I have tons of them in that other cupboard, but these are ones that I've gotten from Flower Swaps on your paper pantry. I also love my computer, but more importantly, I love my YouTube friends. And, uh, so many of you I get so much inspiration from, but I've been lucky enough to meet some in person, like Roxy Fur, and I've been very, very lucky to call um, some of them my real dear friends, like Yoli Bean Yolanda, and if it wasn't for YouTube, I can't believe we would our paths would have never crossed, so I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way. You've met some lifelong friends on YouTube, so God bless the computer. I love, while I love the ticking clock, I also love music, and I'm most inspired by uh, gospel music or any music that really moves me, and I find that gospel music does that. I love words and quotes, and which is probably why I like music that's inspirational, because it's the lyrics of the music that I absolutely love. And, oh, the last thing I'm going to mention, I don't know if this was 20 things or 10 things. I have no idea. I was just looking around at the things that I love. I love my room, my space, my craft room. It's like my safe haven. I just feel like I'm just surrounded by all the things I love. And I can just close the door and just get lost in here and just create or watch YouTube. I sometimes watch Netflix on the computer while I work at this table right here. And I just love it. So thanks for those of you who tagged me. Oh, I forgot to say, I'm falling in love with my Cricut. 
I, I, it's like we're just starting to date and I'm just getting to know it, but I am falling in love with it because I really like some of the things you can create from that. So that is my likes and loves for 2011. And I'm going to tag, just like Yoli said, anybody who hasn't yet been tagged, I'm probably the last one to put up my video. I'm sorry it took me so long to get this done, but um, my room was a disaster. And not so much the outward, like if you close the cupboard doors, it wasn't so bad. But oh lordy, behind those doors it was a hot mess. So I really was in the midst when I got tagged I had everything out on a table and it was just such a mess so I had to get that done so um, thanks a lot for watching everyone and we will see you next time oh and I love candles too I am so distractible sometimes I tell you but I love to have candles and really nice smelly things around me like incense or candles so yeah I really like my five senses being stimulated but not necessarily all at the same time so thanks for watching everyone bye